Okay guys, so we're gonna run through the upper body program to complement the program I went over yesterday. Um, so all you need ideally is a, a, a dumbbell or if you have a kettlebell, we'll go through some options as we go. Alright, so real simple, we're gonna start off with shoulders and our shoulders and back. So we're gonna start off with a shoulder press first. We use that in a half kneeling position. So this is just a good way of protecting the body, protecting the spine, should I say. So abs tight, shoulders back and down, glutes are on. Dumbbell comes up to the shoulder. From here, you're gonna press up overhead, looking to bring the bicep to the to the ear. So fast up, slow down. Four, three, two, one. Straight back up. So four, three, two, one. Touch the shoulder, bicep to ear. Lock out. Get a bit of a stretch through the lats. Slow back down. Okay. That's A1, we're gonna do that for kind of 10 to 12 reps depending on the amount of uh, uh, the weight of dumbbell you have. We're gonna go into a one arm row down for the posterior chain. So use a chair, a couch, a table, back flat, kettlebell or dumbbell, you can use either. Back flat, fast up, slow back down. So you wanna pull the elbow high let it go naturally, keep the head looking down. So we're gonna go fast up, slow down. If you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell that's quite light, what we can do is add in a pause. So we pause the top, so up, hold for five, four, three, two, one, slow back down. With this movement, you're looking to get as big a range as you have and as big a range as possible. Pause at the top if you've only got light weights or light dumbbells. But this is one of the most important things for keeping our lats, rhomboids and rear delts on. So do, do use it. Okay, so we're going to do that for 10 to 12 reps as well. So you've got a one arm dumbbell shoulder press, a one arm dumbbell row. So you do left arm shoulder press, right arm shoulder press. Straight in, left arm row, right arm row, rest. 75, 90 seconds, four sets. Then we're going to add in a little bit of variation, okay? So we're going to do a press up with a rotation just for a little bit of thoracic rotation, a little bit of stability, core, so you get shoulders, triceps, all the main muscles, and you also get some abs thrown in. So when we do a press up, feet hip distance apart, back flat, we slowly lower chest to floor, but when we come up, I wanna throw in a rotation where I pause at the top. So you'll see my right hand is in line with my left hand. Shoulders, everything up, down, chest to floor, up, Rotate, opposite side, back down. So alternating sides each time. You get a bit of rotation through the thoracic, through, through, the, through the spine, through the chest, through the shoulders. And also you get a bit of stability, ab, core work done as well. So it's quite cool. Right, so we do that. You're looking to do that for anywhere between 8, 10, 12 reps, depending on how strong you are. Alternatively, we have the option, if we're not able to do full press-ups, no, break it down onto our knees, chest down. We can still get the same benefit. You have to adjust your feet slightly, but we can still get the same benefit by doing knee and press ups. Remember, strength is all relative, so it's relative to where you are. For some people, a press up will be a strength exercise. Absolutely perfect, nothing wrong with it at all. Make sure form is good, make sure shoulders are always ahead of hands, um, and spine is flat. Simple. So we've got press up and rotation. Then, if you've got a dumbbell, or a kettlebell, or even a plate, just for scapular control and stability, we're gonna brace the abs, we're gonna lock the shoulders back and down, holding a dumbbell like this, we're gonna go through full range, all the way up overhead, and control back down. Touch in front, fast up, control back down. So this is gonna be dictated by shoulder mobility, I'm looking for my bicep to cover my ears, but I don't want to flare my ribs. I want to keep my glutes on, abs on, biceps in line with shoulders. So fast up and control back down. We're going to go for, depending on the weight again, 15 to 20 reps. Then we go on to a nice little burner for the shoulders. So this can be done standing or it can be done kneeling. So if we're doing it standing here, it's an alternate one arm roll. So two hands up. So we do right arm, up, left arm, up, right arm, up, 
left arm up. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is 12 each side. So you, I've done tw you do 12 each side and then 12 together, okay? All posterior chain, all rear delts. Again, looking to keep shoulders healthy. If you find it hard to keep a neutral spine or a back flat in that position, or you're feeling it in your lower back, break it down. As I said, this kneeling position here is perfect. We can do the exact same exercise in kneeling as we can standing. You can bring your chest down, changes the angle slightly, but what it does is it helps protect the spine. So option one is here, option two is here, okay, into our kneeling position. If you're feeling any lower back issues, go with option two, just takes out the spine. And still, what, what, what are we doing? We're focusing on the upper body, focusing on shoulders, um, shoulder health and stuff, so it's, you're not losing any of the workout from there. Then, last but not least, what we're going to do is, um, if you've got a band or a broomstick, um, you can do the same thing. We're just going to do some, cir some circulation, so just to get shoulder mobility really important i like to do like kind of like 10 of these get the shoulders going nothing wrong with throwing in some band pull aparts which i'll add in but just for now let's focus on these so ten, about, about 15 to 20 of them get shoulders moving then real simple down onto the floor tricep extension so hands straight up in the air elbows in slow down touch the tops of the shoulders fast straight back up so this is more for elbows for triceps for elbow elbow health keep the elbows in you don't want them swaying back here just keep them locked in nice and tight again 15 to 20 reps um, depending on the weight that you have so you've a1 a2 shoulder press one arm row b1 b2 b3 um, so uh, with, with B1 was our press up with our rotation, B2 was our uh, dumbbell pull over, and B3 was our bent over lat raise. C1, circulations, add in some band pull aparts if you want, circulations, just anything that gets the shoulders moving, blood flow into the shoulders. And then C2 is a little bit of triceps, just to help pay attention to the elbow joint. Right guys, any problems, any questions, anything you're not sure of, just pop me a text and we'll be able to run through it. Thanks, bye bye.